What's going on, Barrage Lords and CH from Hungover Forever? And today we're talking about oxygen. Yes, post fermentation, oxygen is public enemy number one. But pre fermentation is my favorite yeast nutrient. I recommend doing this for beers that are 7% and up every single time. We're hanging out, we got the Barrage Lords over. Putting together a nice little West Coast IPA just from some leftover ingredients, whatever we got floating around. It's not beer recipe today. It's not beer recipe day. It's not beer recipe day. We're talking about oxygen. There's no recipe written down. We're just shooting for 7% beer, five gallon batch. I got like 20 pounds of two roll left before I gotta get another bag. We're just gonna throw like 10 pounds in there. And then I've got some flaked wheat and some flaked oats that Donnie's gonna mill up for us. Got some hops in the freezer. I think it's Citra, Amarillo, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. We're talking about oxygen. We're just trying to hit a 7% beer today. What are we drinking today? What are we drinking today? Shroud of Mist from Battle Mage. Deep in the depths of Mordor, across the Gorgon Valley, where Zoro's domain water layer is. Through the wings of angels. It's actually off uh, uh, La Mirada in Sycamore, off uh, the 78 in uh, Vista. Uh, I think yeast and temperature control is the most important factor of beer. And obviously, you know, don't letting don't letting oxygen in after fermentation. But you buy hops, you get hops, right? You buy hops from your local hop store, hops should be good to go. You buy your grain, miller grain, should be good to go. Yeast, they give it to you. Yeah, it says 65 degrees on it. Well, okay, well temp control and yeast nutrient is the name of the game. Yeast is like the girlfriend. You gotta keep the girlfriend happy. You gotta keep the girlfriend happy. You keep the girlfriend happy, she keeps you happy. Think big beer, think West Coast IPAs and up, think oxygen. A lot of sugar needs a lot of yeast. A lot of yeast needs a lot of oxygen. At a homebrew scale, we can grab our fermenter and shake it around. That works, but you can only get so much. It's not as efficient as what we're about to learn. Commercial breweries have big tanks, big oxygen tanks, just like big CO2 tanks for soda and, and beer. And we're gonna scale it down today and do the exact same thing that they do. A couple things about oxygen. All right, first things first, it's pretty chill. Oxygen's super tight, but oxygen is only about 20% of the dry air that us humanoids breathe in. Pure oxygen fuels fires, but it is not flammable on its own. It needs a flame. Shout out to Google. Without oxygen, there is no human race. So epic shout out to oxygen for being chilled. Let's buy up. There's many ways to snag oxygen. If you're brewing every single day, which you're not, snag something like this. But if you've ever watched any single one of our videos, you know we're cheapskates. DIY warlords. So here's how we're doing it today. Disposable oxygen tanks. Any Home Depot Lowe's, Ace Hardware carries this stuff. It's about 11 bucks and you're gonna get about four or five uses out of it. All right, but now how do we get the oxygen into our wart? More specifically at the bottom of our wart. Boom, anvil, oxygen, and regulator. Regulator! This is the most affordable way I found out to go about this process. Link in bio on the anvil supplies. Very easily assembly. Here's the regulator. No need to spend money on the gauge. Just an on and off switch. Tubing with flare that connects to the regulator. And there is a gasket. Use the gasket or you'll hear a screeching sound. And then the other hose connects to the 24 inch wand with the micron diffusion stone at the end. Same thing as a carbonation stone if you want to carbonate your beer faster, but we'll save that one for another video. Put your gasket in first just like this. Twist it on and when it can't go anymore, I like to hit it with a wrench to avoid wasting any oxygen. See, the thing about these oxygen cans, they're only 1.4 ounces, way less than the propane tanks of the same size. Connect other end of the hose to the wand. You may have to use a hose clamp here and that's really just it now just sanitize any part of the wand or the hose that touches the beer do not get sanitizer on the regulator, regulator! put the wand in all the way down at the bottom of your fermenter count to 30 maybe 45 seconds to a minute if you're doing like a 10 percent beer or something maybe mead pitch your yeast i believe this is the white lab 051 